By the end of this video, you will be able to change the number of measures per staff in the music notation software at MuseScore Studio. Let's get started. So you might be working on a project and it might look similar to what I have here where you have a lot of measures on one line, but you only have a couple measures on the second line. So I want to make this look a little more even and have the same amount of measures per line. This is also known as the same number of bars per line. So it's pretty simple to do this. What you need to do is go up to the left hand side of your screen, left click on format, and then you're going to see an option for measures per system. I'm going to left click on that. Once I've left click on that, it's going to bring up this dialog box asking me how many measures would I like to lock per system. So this one's saying lock layout with four measures per system. I can change this number here. I like the number four. That means there's going to be four measures on the first line, four on the second line, and so forth. Uh, so I like that. I'm going to press OK. And so now you can see that it locked the music into four measures per line or uh, four measures per staff. If I scroll through, you can see I still have those two at the bottom that are kind of by themselves. And that might happen depending on how many measures you have in your staff. Again, to find that again, you go up to left hand side of screen, format, measures per system, and then you can change these. You can also add system locks to each system or remove current system locks. If I remove that and press OK, that means that will take it back to the formatting it was before. Um, so if for any reason you want to change that in the future, uh, you go up to the left hand side of the screen, click on measures per system, and then just say remove current system locks. That's how you can basically delete all of the system locks within your score. So it looks back like this. One quick thing, if you're not happy with the formatting of your score and you'd like maybe this left the bottom part to be closer to the top part here, what you need to do is go up to the left hand side of your screen and click on format, and then you're going to click on style. Once you click on style, you're going to look for the option for page, and I'm going to left click on page. And then here where it says enable vertical justification, I'm going to disable that. And so once I disable that, you notice the settings changed already. So that bottom st staffs are closer to the top staff. And I can change this uh, settings here. So I want that bottom part to be even closer. I'm going to go ahead and make that one maybe like nine. And so now that's even closer to the top. And then I'm going to say, OK. So that's one way that you can bring these closer together uh, in your music that you're editing. So you now know how to change the number of bars per line or the number of measures per system within MuseScore Studio. If you made it this far into the video, you most likely want to get the most out of the software. I made a complete beginner's guide showing you A to Z how to get going with MuseScore Studio. I'll put a link to that video here.